Hey there, Scipio here, and I want you to take a look at these new 450 class servos that came to market. These are high voltage, digital cordless, dual ball bearing servos, metal gear, uh, super fast, and uh, I'm going to put them on my 450 as part of a 480 conversion. Uh, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. So it's the A48HV for the Cyclics. I've got three of those and an A92HV for the tail. Uh, Dave over at Alpha RC, also tarotrcheli.com, you may recognize. Uh, he was working with one of the manufacturers of some very high-end servos to come up with this custom servo uh, that he spec'd out and uh, asked me to give them a try. So I'm going to check them out. They feel really smooth. Uh, I really uh, like the look of them. Just a standard uh, plug. It's got, I believe it's a Futaba spline on it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just figure we'll uh, we'll take a look at them. So on the Cyclics, you've got a, uh, at 6 volts, they're running you know, 0.055 seconds at 7.4 volts, 0.045 seconds. Definitely high voltage servos. Need to put some power to these things, so I'm going to have to upgrade my ESC as well. And then on the uh, tail, this tail here, uh, 0 0.042 at 6 volts and 0 0.034 at 7.4 volts. I'm going to compare the tail against my KST HV servo that I currently have on my tail. Uh, as a matter of fact, I thought for a minute that they were made by the same company, but as you can see, they're quite different. The uh, Alpha servo is a little bit deeper uh, and, quite frankly, a lot smoother, uh, not nearly as gritty as the KST, so uh, I'm just amazed at how smooth they are. You can go to tarotrcheli.com, tarot-rc-heli.com, and check out the kit. And, uh, you know, props to Dave for actually putting the required specifications on there. There's nothing I hate more than trying to set up a heli with servos, and I have no idea what the center pulse is or what hertz it should be running at. So here it is right there on the website. Nice and easy to find. I wish more uh, retailers and manufacturers would do that. But anyway, uh, you can see all the specs here. These are going to be hot little servos, and uh, I'm really excited to check them out. So one thing that you might uh, know about me is uh, I did a video on some Turnigy servos about how to keep them from grounding out against the, the metal bottom plate of the servo. So these look a lot like those Turnigy servos, all metal. Of course, all the metal servos do look alike. So my first inclination is to pop it open and see if there's any risk of that same sort of a problem. And if you look inside here, they've actually taken precautions to uh, ensure that there's no uh, continuity between the electronics and the the bottom plate of the servo, which to me is a really nice step. It uh, It's just that extra little bit that helps uh, me understand that these are probably going to be a really high quality servo. Uh, just the little things that make a difference. So, and the electronics are uh, fastened in there fairly well, so they're not bouncing around loose or anything like that, and that's a good sign as well. So let's look at this uh, tail servo here and uh, check it out and see uh, see how it stands. And as you can see here, it has a uh, also a, a very well mounted electronics uh, circuit board, and it's got this little foam pad there to space between the the electronics and the bottom of the servo, and also protect it from any continuity. So uh, those are very good signs. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is pull off my servos off my 450. Man, I just can't get over how smooth these things are. I, it really, it really feels nice. So. That's it. You'll hear more about these. I'll probably do some testing for you, but just wanted to show them to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Catch you on the next one.